In this lesson, we will learn how to use the mirror command. On the left hand side, we have the finished detail, and that's the way that this detail on the right should look when it's completed. If we look down here toward the bottom, and we can zoom in by spinning the wheel on the mouse, we can see that we have a C channel and then another C channel. And that's a condition that we need to have over on the right hand side. To do this, we will use the mirror command. Start by selecting on the C channel, then move your cursor up, and there are actually two different kinds of mirror commands available to us. The first one won't actually be the correct mirror command for this condition, but I do want to illustrate it for you. And that's the Mirror Pick Axis tool. Select on Mirror Pick Axis, move your cursor over, on the outer face of this C channel, click. That outer face became the axis point for that mirror. And we can see that it's made an exact copy of that object over on the other side. Unfortunately, though, it's not spaced appropriately. If you look over on the left hand side, we can see that there's a nice gap between these two. At this point, if we wanted to use the move command, we could. But for this example, I would like to use the other kind of mirror command to correctly mirror this to the other side. If it's not already highlighted, make sure to select on that channel that we just made, then click the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of it. Now let's try the other mirror command. Once again, select on that channel, move your cursor up, and now let's select on mirror draw axis. Zoom in here toward the bottom by just spinning the wheel on your mouse. Then along the face of this channel that goes across the bottom, Move your cursor along until you see that triangular shape there in the middle of the object. Once it's there, click and draw a line straight up. This means that we'll mirror across this line that we're drawing straight up. Click again once you have this dashed line going up, and we can see it's mirrored it equally from one side over to the other side. And if we zoom out, we can now see that that object has in fact been mirrored from the left over to the right. 